is the end of it. I'm afraid this is just the beginning. Leave that. Get your stuff. We need it again. Weren't we going to send a commission? Quite right, sir. We were and we shall. But the Middle East is highly unsettled. Things are very volatile there. In our view, it's imperative that we make a firm decision now, sir. I can't answer for the consequences otherwise. You agree? Obviously. I thought that we had decided. You've got your league. Mr. President, allow us to have this. What exactly do you have in mind? Now, our line will run here. And ours runs here. What are those areas? Zones of influence, sir. Let me show you. British zone, French zone. I, does anyone have a pencil? Mr. President. Thank you, young man. I see. Splendid. I take it we're all agreed then. What about Prince Faisal? Oh, I dare say we'll find him something. Diplomacy? Everything they promised Faisal was a lie. Is that your idea of diplomacy? <laughs> Mr. President? It's finished. No one is satisfied. Makes me hope we've made a just peace. So what happens with Prince Faisal? Maybe they'll give him Iraq. That's Gertrude's plan. She says she'll move heaven and earth to get it for him. So what will you do? Go back to England. Vegetate. Starve, I imagine. I mean, you won't starve, unless you want to. Henry, you're right, of course. And you? A glittering career in diplomacy. Ambassador to the Court of St. James? Oh, I turned it down. I'm gonna go back home, go to school. School? University. I'm gonna study archaeology. Oh, that's fine. God, I envy you. I don't know. It's pretty scary. It's been three years since I left, so... And what three years? A lifetime. I told you, I told you. Well, I should get going. So long, then. Goodbye, Henry. Henry, don't forget me. I won't forget you. Will you write? I will. We gave the old men victory and they threw it away. We offered them a new world and they made the old one over again. Still, it might have been worse. What? I said it might have been worse.
Did you fight? I'm sorry? Were you a soldier? Did you fight? Yeah, yeah, I did. Were you scared? Gaston, it's not polite. Yeah, yeah, I was scared. I guess, I guess most soldiers are. My father wasn't scared. He was brave. He got a medal. Look. It's great. Did you get a medal? Yeah, I did. Can I see it? Have it on me right now. One day I'm going to have a medal of my own. Really? When the next war comes. What if another war doesn't come? Don't be silly. Of course there'll be a next war. Who will you fight? The Germans, of course. Someone who can speak. Excuse me, ma'am, can I help? He doesn't speak English. Uh, c'est quoi le problème, monsieur? Ses bagages, quoi. Ça semble penser qu'on a volé ses bagages. I'm sorry, ma'am. He apologizes for the misunderstanding, but your baggage will be sent to your cabin. I'm gratified to hear it. I'm obliged to you, young man. Thank you. Sure. Ah, now, here you go. Thank you, thank you. Come along, Amy. American women. Very impossible, no? Jones, Henry Jones. Yes, Mr. Jones, what can I do for you? I was uh, wondering about dinner. You are down for the second sitting. Perfect. Now, about the seating arrangements. But of course, Mr. Jones. Hello. Oh, this is something of a surprise, Mr. Jones. Pleasant one, I hope, Mrs. Wharton. Very pleasant. A wonderful coincidence, I guess. And how long was your stay in Paris, Mr. Jones? Just a couple of months, ma'am. I was with the American delegation during the peace treaty negotiations. Oh, perhaps you know my husband, Mr. Thomas Horton. He is first secretary at our embassy. Oh, no, ma'am. I was just a translator. Actually, I was there for three years. You were in the war. In the war for three years. I imagine your parents will be most relieved at your return. Well, my mother passed away. And my father, he's pretty involved with his work. What sort of work would that be? He's a professor of medieval studies at Princeton. Well, I do not doubt he will be happy to see you. Happy? I'm sure he'll be tickled to death. Mm-hmm. 
would your father be angry with you? First, for the way I left home. He didn't approve? He really didn't get a chance. I just sort of left without telling him. And we haven't really communicated. He did write to me once, so. Telling you to never darken his doorstep again. No. He said it was up to me about what school I went to. Well, that doesn't sound so bad. Let's hope he still means it. I'd like to go to the University of Chicago and study archaeology instead of Princeton. I'm going to Vassar to study medicine. I plan to be a doctor. Really? That's great. And don't worry. I'm sure that deep, deep down, your father hasn't changed one bit. That's what I'm afraid of. Please don't. What's wrong? I, I, I don't know. I, I don't want to fall in love with you. Why not? I'm not sure. Are you scared? Yes, I think so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 